The only thing you need to do is come in and get tested for your health and for the health of your family so that you can make informed choices. We're testing as many people as possible as part of our investment in this community and our investment in your health. I was talking with one of the gentlemen who was here this morning talking about how Waterworld has been a place of joy for his family for years and years. And I know that this is not what you come to expect when you come to Waterworld, but I want you to see this as an investment in our community. Just as we invest in community amenities, like we invest in Highland Hills, we are investing in this community testing site because we care about you, your health, and your well-being. We encourage everyone who has COVID symptoms, has been exposed to others who have COVID-19 or need a test for any other reason. Come to this iconic location and for your health and the health of your family, please get tested and wear a mask. Thank you again to the governor who vetted MAKO for us and brought them to Adams County to do this testing. We got the call July 29th and boy, have I ever seen my team hustle, but this was a real hustle. In just 10 days, the Adams County team pulled together a cross departmental working group to make sure that we had all of these facilities up and running, that we had everything and all the materials ready to go so we could have this soft open today. I really have to congratulate my team here in Adams County who worked so quickly in just a few days to get this site up and running. Thank you, and of course, we are excited and grateful to partner with our state on this, and I'm pleased to introduce our governor, Jared Polis. Well, it's always great to be in Adams County. Uh, if this was a normal summer, I'd be here with my kids and we'd be having fun back there. Uh, this is far from a normal summer, uh, and that water fun will have to wait. Uh, but Waterworld, and I want to thank Waterworld and as well as the county commissioners for in really quick time in this pandemic stepping up. Really the genesis of this is that a lot of the testing being done with the national labs was simply taking too long for Colorado residents, too long for our public health needs. People weren't hearing back for nine, 10 days. I even heard 12 days, somebody didn't hear back. So we wanted to do something about it and fix it. And so we work with new lab partners. Uh, the partnership with this is, is Mako Labs and uh, create free, quick, easy testing. And this is a free, quick, easy testing center. It's free for everybody. It's quick, you're in and out in 15 minutes. You get the results in two to three days, no more than four days max. The contract with the labs have 48 hour maximum turnaround, two day turnaround, takes sometimes another day to get it there and get the results. So we're talking two to four day turnaround on all testing, much more helpful than nine, 10 days. And we hope to get that down to as little as two days uh, to three days on average. And, and really accessible. I mean, anybody can come here. You don't need appointments. You don't need to have a, a doctor or primary caregiver. You don't need a note. If you are experiencing symptoms, you can come get tested in 15 minutes and be done. In addition to people who have symptoms, the other folks that we want to encourage to get tested are if you think you were exposed to the virus, right? If you were on a bus and somebody was coughing right next to you, right? If you sat next to somebody that uh, was infected, if a family member was infected. Now, you want to come here about a week after you were exposed. So if you're sitting next to somebody in a bus and they cough, you don't come here the next day. It's guaranteed to be negative. It doesn't help you. You come here a week after, seven or eight days after your exposure, or if you develop symptoms even sooner, you might develop those symptoms as soon as four or five days. But if you don't have symptoms, wait a week and then get tested. So any flu-like symptoms, you have a temperature, you have a cough, sore throat, free, quick, easy testing here and at the Aurora Sports Complex. Whichever is closer to your home, you can be in and out in about 15 minutes. We know that our success against this virus relies on information. This is a war and intelligence is critical, knowing where the enemy is and whether that you are in danger. And the sooner that you know that, the quicker that you can uh, act to get treatment if needed and to alert those around you who might have been exposed about the danger and to further limit your exposure to others. You know, from the beginning, we've been proud to provide state funding and be a conduit for federal funding for PPE, for testing, for support and testing sites. And I want to applaud the Adams County Commissioners uh, for working to get this one done, to be able to serve the people of Colorado with free, quick, and easy testing. Adams County is a densely populated residential area. 
Uh, a lot of residents don't have access to health care or perhaps might have moved to the area recently, don't have a primary caregiver, or even if they do, they might not have a path to get a quick, free, easy test because some of the other testing partners nationally take nine, 10 days uh, to get the results in. And we don't want that reputation that some tests have to, to turn anybody off to testing. So if you've heard that testing takes 10 or 12 days, don't believe it. You come here to Waterworld or you go to the Aurora Sports Complex, you will get your results back in two to four days. Uh, and we hope as quickly as possible. Adams County is one of the most diverse populations in the state, which is why all of the materials are translated into Farsi, Hmong, and of course Spanish. Uh, in fact, as far as we could tell, this is the only testing site in the entire country where materials are translated into Hmong. So um, we're excited to serve all of our diverse communities uh, right here in Adams County. And that diversity is of course a blessing that enriches and strengthens our community. But in the midst of the pandemic, it also presents its challenges. And uh, reaching families uh, who speak different languages is a challenge that we strive to face. Of course, we work with the Spanish speaking media. Many of them are here on a regular basis, but reaching non-Spanish speaking, non-English speaking residents of Colorado is equally as important from a health perspective because this virus makes no distinction what language you speak. No matter what language you speak or who you are, it can spread to you and it can spread to your loved ones. Las pruebas aquí son gratis, fácil y rápido. Y meta es que el tiempo de espera uh, aquí sea de menos de 20 minutos para una prueba. Y los resultados estarán disponibles en tres días o lo máximo cuatro días. También tendrá información disponible en español. Ellos no se, pregun se pre preguntan sobre qué país eh, está ciudadano o no, ninguna um, ninguna uh, preguntas no necesita ser ciudadano para recibir una prueba aquí es muy importante si tiene una enfermedad debe recibir una prueba gratis fácil y rápido en Waterworld aquí en Adams County we're a state that believes in local control and we embrace the flexibility of our local leaders because if this virus gets out of hand, we need to handle it at the community level, the county level, and the state level. And that's why Adams County is taking the steps necessary to make sure that we can turn the trend around, get better information in the hands of Adams County residents and residents of other counties that this testing center serves. So I wanna encourage other counties to follow the lead of Adams County and Aurora, where we were earlier today. Uh, the state is happy to help. We wanna help with supplies, uh, with processing and contracts to do the processing, and also with financial assistance to match the work that cities and counties are doing. We wanna get the word out to everybody possible to encourage testing. If you have symptoms, if you have flu-like symptoms, a fever, cold-like symptoms, a cough, stuffed nose, come get tested. It takes 15 minutes and uh, you will get your results within a couple of days. Uh, it is incredibly important if we are going to defeat this virus, we need to find out where it is and act quickly rather than let it creep up on us in stealth mode uh, and before it's too late we need to act uh, we need to continue to wear masks uh, when we're in public when we're around others when we're indoors and of course foster a sense of unity and responsibility to know that we all have an obligation to ourselves and to others to stay safe during this difficult pandemic we know that the pandemic threatens our health it threatens to put us in hospitals and, and over 1,600 Coloradans have lost their lives. It also threatens our spirit. And as we resume our normal activities and people are going to work and going to school and going about their business, we're doing it in a new and a safe way. Because if we do it the old way, the virus will win. We can't let the virus defeat our health. We can't let the virus defeat our spirit. Free, quick, easy testing is one of the most important tactics we have to battle the spread of the virus and shine a light on where it is so that we can defeat it before it's too late. I wanna encourage Coloradans to continue to do the right thing, which means keeping your distance from one another, avoiding large gatherings, that is so important. Uh, that means rather than a block party or having a bunch of people over to celebrate your kid's birthday, maybe celebrate it with one other family, right? There'll be a time when we can have large celebrations again, we all look forward to it. But in the meantime, we have to get by uh, socializing with one or two other families at a time. 
uh, wash your hands frequently. And of course, if you are at particular risk for the virus, uh, an older Coloradan or with a pre-existing health condition, we advise that you do your best to minimize contact with others. Stay home whenever possible. Look, the more responsibly we act, and that responsibility includes when you're ill getting tested, the more, the more responsibly we act, the quicker this national nightmare will be over. The more that we can open up our economy, recover from this downturn, make it easier for hardworking people in Adams County to earn a living. So let's do right by each other. Let's protect one another. Let's be safe. And if you're ill or exposed to somebody who is ill, let's make sure to get tested, free, quick, and easy. Water World, Aurora Sports Complex. Our next speaker is the head of the Colorado Department of Public Health and Environment. Uh, she's been doing a, uh, a great job in coordinating the state side of the response of, of the virus as borne out by uh, our success in the state in being able to contain the virus at levels that haven't exceeded our medical capacity and have allowed the resumption of many of the things that make life worth living. It's my honor to introduce uh, Jill Hunsecker Ryan. Good afternoon. I'm so grateful to be out here today. In a typical summer, everyone comes to Waterworld to beat the heat, and this summer, we need people to come here to beat the virus. This testing site is another example of communities doing their part and doing everything possible to scale up against this virus. Our goal has been to help ensure that counties get the resources they need to localize their response and where it makes sense, grow state systems for the benefit of all counties. It's why we've grown the capacity of the state lab to run over 3,000 COVID-19 tests per day to support community testing sites. And we've done everything possible to provide testing supplies to local public health agencies so they can make testing widely available in their communities. It's also why we are training a small army of contact tracers in a partnership with the Corporation for National and Community Service and making epidemiology and interview surge, and interview surge support available to local public health agencies. And we are in the process of adopting a common technology platform that local public health agencies can use to more quickly and accurately communicate about cases, exposures, and contacts. When we think about how far we've come in a, such a short period of time, the effort has been Herculean. But we have still have more to do, and we are doing more, expanding public health capacity at the state and local level daily. This is an unprecedented challenge, and we need to work together. We are looking to our local communities for that kind of leadership. I am so grateful to have the continued partnership of local communities and particularly Adams County here today. Together, we can protect more Coloradans and keep this virus better contained. Now it's time to remain disciplined and diligent. We should continue to wear masks and stay home when possible. Those that can work from home should work from home. Wash your hands and of course, stay home when you're sick, even if it's just that little tickle in the back of your throat. We need you to stay home. If you must go out, avoid places where there are large crowds and restrict activities to small groups, staying six feet apart from people outside of your household. If you think you may have come into contact with someone with COVID-19, or if you attended a large gathering where COVID was present, then get tested around day seven. Or if you have symptoms, get tested right away. If a public health professional calls you to collect more information about your illness or exposure, please take time to answer their questions. The contact tracing is one way that we let people who have been exposed know what to do in order to further um, protect from spreading the virus. We continue to be at a critical juncture. What we do know now dramatically affects where we are going. So let's keep it up. It's now my pleasure to turn the program back over to Raymond Gonzalez, the county manager for Adams County. Thank you, Jill. I would like to say one final thank you to everyone who had a hand in setting up this site. Please know your contributions will help thousands in our community 
get a COVID test. And speaking of getting a test, we are going to transition and Governor Polis and the Adams County Commissioners will get a test on site today. Thank you. Great. We'll be happy to take some questions. Uh, free, quick, easy testing. Anybody who's symptomatic should get tested quickly. Only takes 15 minutes. Uh, free, quick, and easy. Aurora Sports Complex, Water World. Or if you were exposed to somebody who you think might have had coronavirus, could be a stranger who coughed on you or a loved one who had it, uh, get tested seven days after that exposure if you don't have symptoms, earlier if you do have symptoms. Let's take some questions. Yes. Well, the positivity rate is a function of how much testing we do as well as how many people have coronavirus in our state. Uh, we have usually between three and 500 uh, people that are identified with coronavirus every day in our state, uh, and probably a few hundred more that um, because of the lack of availability of testing have gone undiagnosed until later. We're hoping that these free, quick, easy sites um, actually really increase the participation in testing and can further reduce that positivity rate. Our positivity rates hover between uh, two and a half and four percent the last week. Uh, better than many states, uh, not good enough. Uh, certainly the fact that we have been so successful is why Colorado's even being able to talk about returning to school, returning to work. Uh, many uh, Our first school district has already uh, resumed session, Aguilar in Southern Colorado. Some El Paso County districts are resuming. Other districts are starting out online and beginning the in-classroom instruction in a, uh, about a month later. So uh, most of the economy is back. Uh, the types of events that are dangerous and that really no state and no country have figured out are mass events. How do you have uh, 10 or 20,000 people together without it being a mass spreader event? And uh, we look forward to being among the first states that can figure that out. But uh, at this point, really, that's a global challenge that uh, really nobody's, nobody's figured out the answer to. So visitation has started. Uh, in fact, I just heard from our own um, the nursing homes today that uh, they've begun visitation. The outdoor visitation started about two weeks ago. That fits in most cases. We understand that there are people who can't move or go outdoors. Uh, and there's very limited uh, visitation protocols in place, but we are working on expanding those. The testing is a key piece of that. So uh, that whole concept didn't work as well when testing took 10 or 12 days, because by the time a test result came back, there was no particular reason to believe that somebody was still negative. So fast testing is a key part of safe visitation for our senior relatives in an indoor environment. In the meantime, uh, the protocols for outdoor visitation are in place and there's many visitations occurring across our state. Do you have a timeline for the For a timeline for the? Yeah, as soon as possible, right? I mean, we, we, uh, there's places that have begun safe indoor visitation, but we want that to begin in more places as soon as possible. It's always going to rely on uh, quick test turnaround. So having these quick, free, easy testing sites like at Waterworld and Aurora, and that is a very good use situation that you identified. Yes, it's if you're sick, first and foremost. Secondly, seven days after you think you might have been exposed, 
But third, if you are visiting an elderly relative and you want to see before you visit to be able to uh, make sure that you yourself are negative, that is another important use of these sites. Well, the biggest benefit of these free, quick, and easy two new testing sites, and there'll be additional announcements in the days and weeks ahead, is that the turnaround time is a lot quicker. So the state was able to work on and, and enter contract with, with, with MAKO. Uh, the, they, they will be processed in less than 48 hours by their lab. Uh, Brett uh, the, from their lab was telling me they target about 25 to 27 hours. Now, the full time is a little bit longer. That doesn't start ticking right when they do it here. That's why we say it's about a three day turnaround. Uh, no more than four, we hope to get it to two. But uh, there was a major problem when people were waiting 10 or 12, 12 days for testing because A, it made them less likely to even wanna get testing as the word spread that that was happening. But B, they had already recovered uh, or it deteriorated and were hospitalized by the time the testing came back. And it was in many cases too late to warn their friends and family, which is why we still advise everybody experiencing flu-like symptoms to self-isolate in quarantine, right? Don't wait for your test results. While those results are pending, uh, act like you are contagious with coronavirus because you there, there's a likelihood that you are. It may be the flu, it may be a cold, it may be coronavirus. Until you get that negative test result back, uh, you absolutely should quarantine yourself. Um, now, with a quicker testing, uh, we look forward to driving that positivity rate even lower, alerting people earlier in the process, empowering our tracers to be able to do their work even better, and also letting people who are negative return to their normal lives a little bit more quickly after they get better from a, a simple cold. Yeah. Uh, to, to go forth with that, and what your administration is going to do to try and navigate these waters. Yeah, that, that uh, help for uh, unemployed Coloradans uh, requires a state match. There's, there's no way that we would have more than two or three weeks tops of the ability to do that. Um, so perhaps it buys a little bit more time for a federal deal, a bipartisan deal between our Republican and Democratic lawmakers to be reached that provides for unemployment assistance, provides helps for state and local governments, help for our schools, uh, and help to get uh, America back to work. Uh, but it provides a little bit of time to do that, uh, but really the state would not be able to do that for more than two to three weeks. There's simply, uh, given the budgetary constraints of the state, there's uh, even that is really stretching our resources to the max. Well, there needs to be a, a, a congressional deal between Republicans and Democrats to help people, to help our economy uh, and to help fight coronavirus. It needs to include money for testing centers like this, uh, the vaccine when it's developed, uh, for hospitals and treatment, for schools to be able to open. Uh, all of that for help for people who are unemployed, all of that needs to be part of a bipartisan package. Uh, I strongly encourage Secretary Mnuchin, uh, President Trump, Mark Meadows, Speaker Pelosi, Leader Schumer, uh, to get to the table and iron out the details of what a bipartisan deal uh, could accomplish. This particular unemployment package requires a state match. Our state is not allowed to deficit spend. Uh, there's very little flexibility in the budget. Uh, the state will do our best to provide those benefits for two to three weeks, but there's no resources beyond those two or three weeks uh, to provide those unemployment benefits at a state level. Um, I haven't spoken to the mayor since yesterday. I plan on speaking to him today. Um, we uh, offer the state help uh, however we can to help our cities, to help our municipal police forces, to help our sheriffs, deputies. Uh, we can provide technical assistance. We have some surge capacity. We can provide through the great work of the Colorado State Patrol as well. Was there any Espanol? Arguin? Nadie? Okay, anybody who did not ask? Uh, thank you. So basic message is uh, free, quick, easy testing here in Adams County. Thanks to the leadership of the Adams County Commissioners, the partnership with the state. Uh, we can defeat this virus. The first thing you need to do in defeating it is finding out where it is. To find out where it is, you need testing and you need results back 
in a quick time frame. We look forward to accomplishing that right here at Waterworld in partnership with Adams County. Thank you. Yeah, great job, Doug.